So explain to me, and I don't get this, right? <laughs> explain to me why it is that a corporation or even a corporation owned by, say, a Saudi prince or partly owned should be able to be electioneering, should be able to be influencing the votes of American citizens. All right. Well, first, let's break those two questions out. One is a, a corporation owned by a Saudi prince is not allowed to do that. All right. Well, no. Fox now. News, you know, gave gave a pile of money out, and uh, Saudi prince owns seven percent of the News Corp. Uh, okay. Now let's look at the the fact. It was Prince Bin Talawid or whatever his name is. He tried to give ten million bucks to to, to I think it was ten million dollars to to Rudy Giuliani after nine eleven. Giuliani turned it down. Okay. Now it's it's unlawful for for aliens to make contributions in political campaigns. It's perfectly lawful for aliens to spend money to try to convince Americans of their point of view, right? My, my point, no why that. would that be lawful? Well, because how are you going to stop it, right? The First Amendment applies to, to people within the United States, okay? I mean, are, are we? how are we going to stop, especially in a modern media world, are we going to stop a foreigner from influencing American... Well, so so you're votes? saying it's just fine if no, 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 uh, no, if no, China, no. for example, no, decided no, no, that no, they no, wanted no. to give Karl Rove a couple, you know, a couple hundred million bucks no, 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 to get somebody elected. No, no, that's to... exactly what they can't do. That's the point I've just made. They can't give money specifically to try to get people elected. But, but they're corporations speak can. about elections. No, their corporations cannot. They're also prohibited from doing so. Now, why can corporations give? Well, let's put it this way. Let me let me answer you. This is your core right. question, right? I mean, you tried to prejudice a little bit by bringing in the Saudi prince, but let's set that aside. Let's talk about corporations well, here. We can okay? talk about al-Qaeda instead. Let's, I mean, let's talk about corporations. If I go down and I want to speak on the village square, I can do that. And if you go down and you want to speak on the village square, you can do that. And if Shane goes down, he can do that. And the three of us can get together and do that, all right? We don't lose our rights just because the three of us are now together. And if we decide, well, let's incorporate so that we can have a bank account and have a way to structure and operate it, we don't lose our rights. I always laughed when Occupy Wall Street was there and they started getting all this money coming in from unions and stuff. And I remember seeing an interview with this guy and he's like, oh, we've got to figure out some mechanism to handle all this. We don't know what to do. How can we set up a bank account? The law has a mechanism for that. It's called a corporation. In other words, in this respect, corporations have rights because we as people have rights. Corporations are not people, but we as people have rights and we don't lose them simply because we organize in a corporate form. So you're suggesting that a corporation should have the right to influence elections. Sure. Because it's a group of people. Right. And should and 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 that's a constitutional right in your opinion. Yes. Protected by the First Amendment. Yes. Should a corporation have a right to marry? No, because People, right? Should have you a corporation have a right to own weapons? Well, no, no. These are, these are silly kind of... bear arms? Of, corporations do have rights You're to saying, own weapons. Okay. And these are kind of silly to say, like, should a corporation marry? Corporations have Corporations the rights, have rights to privacy? They have the rights that... Yes, they do. They have the rights that we as okay, individuals so, have when we get together to do things. So a corporation, for example, can't run for office because we don't run for office as a group. This seems to me... A corporation frankly, Brad, this is the most outrageous BS I've ever heard. I, I agree to, with what to, you're to, saying, to, Tom. To, I, we, to, we're at, to, back at you. To, to, say that, to say that a a corporation has a right to privacy when all a corporation is is a group of people that we have given privileges so, to in exchange for their per doing business in a way that presumably is going to interest so you in, are of the, the belief that the police should not have to have a warrant before they come and raid the business they if they want to search the tom hartman show they can come in kick the door down they don't need a warrant they don't need probable cause in this because country, you're incorporated in this country until the 1920s every corporation's books had to be open to ah, the you're not answering my question are you you're not going to answer my question should they be able to come into your your office without a warrant and just come in and start searching things. If, if I'm doing business in public, sure. Okay, should they be able to just take all your property because corporations don't have any rights? I'm so not take all your broadcasting equipment, just take it off, carry it away, you get nothing for it. No. Obviously. Why not? Why not? Because it's... You're a corporation, you don't have any rights. No, no Brad, you're, 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 you're mixing apples and oranges Right here. back at you, Tom. Right back at you. <laughs> A, a corporation is a is a way of avoiding liability. If, if I mean, this is the essence of a corporation. This is why the corporate form no, was no, set you up. Don't, you don't so, avoid liability in a corporation. You, you certainly do. If no, I put if I put fifty thousand dollars into a corporation and I run up a half a million dollars worth of debts and decide to walk away from it, the limit of my liability is fifty thousand dollars. That's correct. If I personally go out and run up a half million dollars worth of debts, 
I'm stuck with a half million dollars of the debt. That's, I can declare no, personal that, bankruptcy, but it's going to be on me. That, I can't walk away from it and say I'm a, right. there's a limitation it, it of my life. It depends on how you think about it. If you, if you negotiate a deal with everybody and you say to the banks, and they'll agree to this, you say, look, I'm not going to be liable for more than 50000 bucks that I owe. That's the way it is. That's what you, you can limit your liability. And that's essentially By what contract. a corporation Right. And that's essentially what a corporation is. A corporation is a web of contracts and agreements that we as people have that make our society more efficient and our lives easier to run. It, and you're saying that a corporation should be able to influence elections. I'm saying so a group a, of people a, have a right to influence a, elections. A group of people called a corporation. A should have the right to organize as a corporation. A group of people organized as a corporation should have the right to influence yes. elections. And yet, the reason why people get together as corporations is to make money. Not necessarily. Sometimes they get together as corporations to influence elections. Well, you're true. That's right. 501c4s, for example, mm -hmm. uh, under yeah. the tax code. They get together for many reasons. Okay. So, if they're getting together to influence... This just seems fundamentally wrong to me. I can't... You know, we the people... Well, the first three words of the Constitution the say. was not we the corporations. The word corporation does not appear in the Constitution. Right. But, but corporations are not people, but they're made up of people. But let, let me say, here's what I would say to, to your listeners, who I, who I guess are probably like you, not very sympathetic to my position. The core issue here... That, that really needs to be debated, and again, we probably disagree, but I think it's the, the key issue, is the effects of money in politics. If ExxonMobil were to reorganize as a partnership, right, you wouldn't suddenly say, oh, well, it's fine if ExxonMobil now wants to spend $5 million to influence elections, right? In other words, and, and nor are most people I talk to on the progressive side terribly upset that small nonprofits, which are incorporated, might spend money. So I think we really need to focus this debate on the idea of what are the effects of money in politics, and do we have a right to limit money in politics, right. rather than worrying about the form you're, in which somebody's organized. You're, mis you're, you're mischaracterizing my positions on it. I, I, I believe personally that, A, corporations are not people and do not have constitutional rights, I agree rights, they're not period, people. Do, and do not have constitutional rights. I disagree with you there. The individuals within a corporation have constitutional rights. The yes. corporation itself, if you decide that you're going to create a, corporation, a corporate form, you are doing it subject to the laws of the state. Period. So, so End of believe, discussion. So you believe the Full takings stop. clause doesn't apply to a corporation? That's correct. The government correct. can just come and take all their assets. They can seize Exxon Mobil if, tomorrow. The shareholders get nothing, if, and it's just tough. If that is the law that our elected representatives pass, it would not be unconstitutional. Yes, I, I absolutely agree with that statement. Well, boy, see, I, I don't think most people I don't, really want that. Well, no, I don't either, and that's why I don't think Americans would ever vote for that. <laughs> no, do you understand what yeah, I'm saying, no, Brad? I do understand what you're saying there. Yeah. And w so what I'm saying is if if we got together, uh -huh. so, so therefore, no, corporations do not have constitutional rights. Period. Mm -hmm. And, and and yeah, if, if the majority of Americans wanted to vote for people who said, yes, come in and take all of Tom Hartman's stuff, like, like you know, nationalizing, fine. That's fine. That's the will of the people. But secondly, I don't think money is speech either. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the, the second very toxic part of Citizens United is, is to say that money is speech. The billionaire's voices should be louder than my voice or your voice. Well, in the end, again, it's very hard to speak if you can't spend money. I mean, you're spending money to air this TV show right now. I had to spend money no, to get No, it's actually here. the other way around. Yeah. They, you know, they pay me. <laughs> Well, but the, but the point is still, money is being spent to get this show on the air. And so, you know, you couldn't publish the New York Times if you didn't spend money. Uh, and, and when you start to limit money for the purpose of limiting speech, then you've got a First Amendment problem. The, in the U.K., you can spend $100,000 getting elected. That's right. Period. And well, well, what, regardless of where it comes from. And that's why their elections run five weeks. What What's wrong we with said, that? What would, you, what would you think if we What's said, wrong with that? Well, that's not why their elections run five weeks. Let me ask you real what's, quickly. What's wrong with that limit? That it limits, it limits limit. the speech of Britons, and I think that's a bad thing, but I think it's worse for us in our culture. But let me ask you a question. What if the courts, what if we said you can practice any religion you want, you just can't spend any money to hire pastors and so on? Would that be a problem it's a, for it's you? A, it's a completely irrelevant question. It has nothing to do with it's, whether it's, or not it's, money it's should be able to influence the same question is money politics. religion. Money is not a religion. Should, money, well, you're right. Money is not a religion. Religion, money is not speech. Money is money. It's property. That's right. But it's if you property. Can spend money for church. Well, Tom, I appreciate. It. I appreciate that you okay. come here, and I appreciate you having me on. It's always fun. Right on. Your website once again was campaignfreedom.org. Campaignfreedom.org. Thanks so much. People can fun. check it out. Bradley A. Smith. We'll be right back.